Hello everyone, it's me FlipArts, and today we are watching a review and unboxing video of the Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, I ordered this the night that I came home after I got Black Ops 2. Really excited, and I got it today, which is Friday, but when you see this video, it's probably Saturday or Sunday. But anyway, let's go and do this. So on the back of the box, it tells you what will come with your game capture. And it comes with, obviously, the Elgato Game Capture HD, a quick start guide, a USB cable, an HDMI cable, and a PlayStation 3 cable. It tells you a little bit of a description, some pictures, um, some specifications, and system requirements. Um, but you guys can read up on that more on the website. So here's the box. has a little image on the front of an Xbox 360 and a PS3 hooked up to the Elgato. And on the back, it gives you the uh, the website. And inside is a small, very compact, fits nicely in your back pocket, size of your wallet, Game Capture HD. Um, it's pretty much the size of an iPhone. Um, I'm not sure if it's as thick as an iPhone, but as you can see here, just by size comparison, it's a little bigger and a little thicker than my BlackBerry Bold. But that is very tiny and it's very compact and if you wanted to you could probably bring it over to a friend's house and record stuff over there or even let them borrow it if you trust them enough to let them borrow it so this is the uh, quick start guide and it tells you the website to where you can download the software and it also tells you on the back how to hook it up with your PlayStation 3 or your Xbox 360 and even has these little pictures that you know show the controllers of each console just a quick note though that if you're going to download the software uh, to use the Elgato, um, obviously if you don't have the Elgato and you download it, you're not going to be able to use the software. Um, even if you had like an HD PVR or a Roxy or something, it's not compatible, it's not going to work, so there's really no point of downloading it. Um, I took the liberty of removing everything from their packages prior to the video, this way I wouldn't have to waste time and do more editing, fast forwarding everything. So this is the HDMI cable and uh, I was trying to get it to focus and zoom, I was trying to work out this camera not quite sure how to get it to work so a little bit of a fail here and the next one we have here is the PS3 cable I believe yeah this is the PS3 cable that it uh, provides you with And this is like a AV cable adapter, so you can hook up all um, the cords and stuff, but you're not really going to need it uh, for this one anyway. And last but not least, we have the USB cable. And so in the next part, we are going to show you how to put it together. Alright, so this is the Game Capture HD, and these are the cables. So there's a there's the uh, USB cable, there's a PS3 cable, and the HDMI cable. For this tutorial, we're going to be hooking it up to the PS3 because that is what I have. So as you can see here, if it focuses or not, I'm not too sure. But I'm sure you can see there is the USB. And we're going to hook up that USB. And that USB is going to go and hook up into your computer or your laptop. And it is compatible both to a, to a Mac computer or Mac laptop, and same with a Windows. All right, sweet. So now that that's done, we are now going to hook up the HDMI cable. It's the HDMI out. So basically here, um, just to let you know, um, so basically you're going to have that cable, the USB, and it's going to run through there, and that's going to hook up into your laptop, and that's where um, it will start to record, and then that will run through your TV, and um, 
and that's where it will uh, get all the stuff, you know, like whatever you're playing on screen. And last but not least, we got to hook up the final cable, which is obvious to where you put it in, and that will hook up into your PS3. And so basically, um, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, I had some difficulties trying to set it up just because you have to reset the PS3 um, by holding the reset button until you hear two beeps and then you have to register it so that it will be able to show the game cap on screen. Alright so as you can see here this is what the game capture HD from Elgato looks like when you download the software and obviously this is running off the TV as you can see in the bottom right corner um, there's a big red button and when you click it that's how you start to record and it starts to record everything on the screen obviously and um, I'm using another kind of program to record this whole screen because it's obviously being put off from the laptop um, but what's cool about this software is that let's say you forgot to record for the past 30 minutes and you're probably like oh my god all that time wasted and you're not going to be able to get those clips back but because of this software it actually allows you to go back in time and you can actually pinpoint to where you didn't record and start recording that piece so for as long as you've been using your capture card and you haven't been recording you can actually go back and re uh, re-record them as if uh, they were happening right now and what's also cool is if you don't touch the screen at all and you just let it run it'll start to full screen the image onto your um, onto your laptop or computer screen and it'll just continue to record or do whatever the only th issue that I had with this is that there was about a two to four second delay um, on the software than onto the TV so if I was shooting someone on the TV it wouldn't show on the screen until two to four seconds later um, so this match is about to begin and I actually recorded this one while um, I was doing all this and let's go check out how good the gameplay looks <laughs> Team Deathmatch Team Deathmatch Kill them all or do not return <laughs> So overall, I'd have to say that getting this capture card is a must if you really, really want to get good content. Um, I've seen um, a comparison videos from an HD PVR and this one, and this one takes the cake. I have to be honest. Um, this one's a little, a lot more sharper. Uh, the images look very nice, and um, I don't know. I only paid maybe a hundred and 85 for this and I think an HD PVR is like 200 bucks so um, it's really worth getting this one um, so anyway uh, you guys can continue watching thank you guys for watching and uh, more Black Ops gameplay will be coming out that's for sure so thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope uh, if you guys are gonna decide to buy a capture card this might be one that you guys might want to buy so uh, yeah take it easy guys until next time peace Where is everybody? Shooter! Sakata Laju!
¡Otalto! 